Greetings from Suraja Institute. Presenting the case of polypoidal choroidal vasculopathy. Polypoidal choroidal vasculopathy is a retinal disease involving the choroidal vasculature characterized by the presence of polypoidal lesions with or without branching vascular network best seen on endocyanin green angiography. The clinical features of PCV include recurrent subretinal hemorrhage, serosanguineous pigment epithelium detachment, subretinal exudation and serous retinal detachment. A woman 59 years of age, diagnosed case of age-related macular degeneration, was on chronic intravitreal anti-VEGF injections. She was taking 3 to 4 injections per year, first 4 years. She also had undergone one session of photodynamic therapy. Her vision was 660 in the right eye and counting finger 3 meters in the left eye. She was pseudophakic in both eyes with an intraocular pressure of 16 millimeters mercury in both eyes. She had significant macular edema with extensive hard exudates in both eyes. On fluorescent fundus angiography, we saw that she had substantial amount of hyperfluorescence from undetermined source suggestive of an occult choroidal neovascularization. Simultaneously, on ICG, there were presence of bulb-like projections from the choroidal vasculature suggestive of polypoidal choroidal vasculopathy. SDOCT of the right eye showed presence of intraretinal cysts and subretinal fluid with a fibrovascular pigment epithelial de detachment. Of the left eye showed presence of large degenerative cyst at the fovea with subretinal scarring. In spite of multiple anti-VEGF injections, there was persistence of PED and retinal edema. We planned to do a direct thermal photocoagulation of the polyps in both the eyes. One month post laser, the right eye PED had resolved and there was significant reduction in the SRF and intraretinal cyst with improvement in the vision to 636. In the left eye, the SRF decreased and the vision improved to counting fingers 5 meters. Post laser, the number of injections in both the eyes decreased from 4 to 5 a year to 1 to 2 a year. She has been advised regular follow up for further management. PCV is a common retinal condition in the Asian countries and affects 25-50% to 50 of the Asian patients with presumed neovascular AMD. ICGA is essential in the diagnosis of PCV and should be performed in cases suspected of PCV or in cases of neovascular AMD refractory to anti-VEGF therapy since the choice of treatment and visual prognosis is different for the two conditions. If the symptomatic polyps and branching vascular networks are located at a safe distance away from the fovea, direct thermal photocoagulation can be considered. For symptomatic polyps with juxtafoveal or subfoveal involvement, vertiprofen PDT with or without intravitreal injection of an anti-VEGF agent should be considered. There are no reports of a specific type of anti-VEGF agent which is beneficial for the resolution of PED. Following treatment, patient should be monitored regularly with imaging in order to assess the activity of the polypoidal lesion and to determine the need for retreatment. In our case, there was a persistent fibrovascular PED which was not resolving with injections. On ICG, we could locate that the polyps were away from the fovea. Laser photocoagulation of the polyps may have helped in the resolution of the PED in addition to reducing the number of injections required every year. Thank you.